Today on Horseland. <laughs> it's a comedy of errors when a princess visits Horseland. Yes! Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. And Chloe and Zoe become royal pains as they try to impress their royal Aww. guest. Someone bring us food? No, but it's um interesting all the same. There you go. Good girl. That's quite a horse. Looks like a first-class snob to me. I think she looks kind of big and scary. You can't judge somebody by how they look. You have to get to know them, you know. Walk a mile in their shoes. Fortunately, I don't wear shoes. What a beautiful horse. Name's Wendy. What kind of name is that? Wendy comes from a cold place. She belongs to the Princess of Svalsbergen. And I just found out that the princess herself is coming to Horseland for riding lessons. Yay! A real princess. We are so going to give her the five-star treatment. As only we know how, sister. Yes! yes! <laughs> the princess is coming here to get a break from all the attention she usually gets. So the last thing she needs is anybody acting up. The princess and her assistant are the only ones coming. They are keeping the whole thing real quiet. No newspapers? No magazines? No gossip shows? No. And it's up to us to keep it that way. Treat them like you would any other students. Hey, we can keep a secret. Right, Chloe? Right, Zoe? Well, duh. Double duh. <laughs> I can't wait to tell the other girls at school. They're gonna be so jealous. Welcome to Horseland. I'm Scarlet. That horse is snootier than a peacock on parade. I never thought I would say this, Angora, but you might be right. Now, now, give the new horse a chance. What's all this? What are you two doing? As you know, Zoe and I have impeccable manners. So we thought we'd teach all of you how to behave around royalty. Will told us not to make a fuss. Get real, Sarah. You expect me to listen to a guy who wears plaid? Now let's begin with a lesson in fine dining. Aren't you jumping the gun a little here? We don't know anything about this princess. That's right. We should wait. Get to know the princess first and find out what she likes. Girls, girls, girls. Once you know a person's background, her breeding, her social standing, that's all that matters. Now, who wants to show us which fork to use first? Should we make a break for it? No, they'd catch us. They can run fast. Hello. Let's pay attention, hmm? Now, this is a service plate. It's never actually eaten on. It will be removed when the first course is brought. And this is an appetizer fork. It's the only fork placed on the right side of the plate. And this is the dessert fork. Notice it's placed horizontally above the plate. <sighs> Hello, my name is Alexia. Howdy. 
My name's Will, and these are... Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Zoe. And we are so totally thrilled to meet you. Thank you. Uh, but the suitcases... We'll let the help get that. You must be the princess's assistant. Well, I, um... I'm Sarah. This is Alma. Hey, uh... My name is Linnea. Can we help you unload the car? Yes, thank you. What's it like being a princess? I mean, a real one. Daddy calls us princesses, but it's not like we're actually official, you know? Ah! Are you okay? Uh, yes, but those horses are so big. I mean, nice. Big and nice horses. <laughs> <laughs> This is a beautiful home you have. Oh, I don't live here. This is where I board my horse, so I come by pretty much every day. Uh, would you excuse us, please? Thanks. They think I'm you and you're me. We have to tell them. Yes, yes, of course. As soon as... No, we have to tell them now. But... <sighs> now, now, your highness. You can't run away from us. We're your new best friends. Someone will show you where to put the bags, okay? Don't worry. We'll take good care of the princess. I'm sure you will. Sorry about the way they're acting. That must drive the princess crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure she'll be fine. This is a beautiful horse. Yeah, she sure is. You like horses a lot, huh? Oh, yeah. When I get on a horse, I feel so free. It's wonderful. Well, maybe we could go riding sometime. Really? We can take the trail up to Charlton Ridge. You can see the whole valley from up there. Really? When can we go? Whenever you want. Excuse me, but your princess needs help getting dressed for her lesson. Well, uh, duty calls. Sure, I'll saddle up her horse. It's okay, girl. She's going to get the princess now. Why is the princess taking so long? It must be that awful assistant of hers. You know how hard it is to find good help. Here they come. Don't worry, Alexia. Windy is very gentle. Your Highness, you know I never learned how to ride. I can't get on a horse. I can barely get into these pants. You look fine, Alexia. How I look is not the point. Please, can't we just pretend a bit longer? At home, I have so little freedom. Here, no one even knows who I am. You're Princess Linnea of Svalsbergen, and I'm your assistant. And trading clothes won't change that. What will change is how people feel when they find out you tricked them. Oh, you're right, Alexia. We have to tell them the truth, and soon. All righty. Ready for your lesson? Uh, no, I'm not. Why's that? Because, uh, uh, you tell them. Princess! Yoo-hoo! Uh, I'm afraid Alexia won't be writing today because she's, uh... What's wrong, princess? Yes, what is it? The princess won't be riding today because, uh... Ah! Because her boots are dirty. What? what? Hate to break it to you, miss, but when you ride horses, that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, nevertheless, the princess will not be riding today. I'm going back in the house now. I'll clean them for you, princess. No, let me. You've never cleaned a boot in your life! Yeah, but I watched someone do it once. I guess we have time for that trail ride now. I don't think Alexia will like it. <laughs> but let's do it. Are you sure it's okay for you to ride the princess's horse? Oh, yeah, I know she won't mind. Have fun, you two! Look, Linnea.
Race you to the top! I have to tell her the truth. But what if she gets upset or starts treating me like... like a princess? Oh, it's beautiful here. Thought you'd like it. See that lake out there? In summer, we go swimming there. Whenever you wish? Sure, we're safe. As long as we go as a group. It must be nice to have good friends like that. It's what friends do, right? They take care of each other. They're always there for each other, right? Right. Lydia's gone. I know. You know? Saw her and Sarah right off about an hour ago. They'll be fine. No, no. Uh, you don't understand. She can't leave my sight. You must take me to her at once. We'll do it. Don't worry, Princess. You can ride with me. No, with me. Heads or tails? Tails. Fine. Give me your hand. <laughs> don't worry, Princess. We're the fastest riders in the county. Fastest? Yeah! What a great ride. For sure. But it's getting late. Oh, I suppose we should get back now. Well, it's a little late for that. How dare you run away? I didn't run away. We just went for a ride. And I guess you're behind all this? Well, yeah, but I didn't mean to cause any trouble. You have no idea how much trouble you could have caused. Come on, let's go home. Now look, I do know one thing. You may be a princess, princess, but you are being incredibly mean to Linnea. Sarah! Alexia can treat her help any way she wants. She's royalty. Alexia was only worried about me, Sarah. She and I may be different, but we're like friends. Well, a friend shouldn't treat a friend like that. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Friends aren't supposed to boss each other around. Could I have a word with you? Now? Excuse me. I can't believe they're still arguing. You sure messed that one up, Sarah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the princess fired Linnea. <laughs> <laughs> Linnea has something to tell you. Well, go on. Sarah, I've been thinking about what you said, about how friends should treat friends. And, well, though we just met, I consider you a friend. So I'd never do anything to hurt you or make you think less of me. <sighs> of course, you have every right to be mad, but I hope you won't be. I have no idea what you're saying. Sarah, Alexia is not the princess of Svalsbergen. But if she's not the princess, then who... You mean... you? Me. Sorry, Agora. I can't get it. You're stuck in there. Ah! She never says anything to us. I know. What a snob. So, let me get this straight. Alexia isn't a princess. Right. But Linnea is. Also right. Are you sure it's okay for me to know this? Linnea said I could tell you, but she wants to tell Chloe and Zoe herself. That I have to see. Girls, we have a big announcement. What's that? At five o'clock tonight, we are going to hold a gigantic party for Princess Alexia. For Princess Alexia. 
Yeah, that will be a surprise. We've invited all of our friends from the country club and the yacht club and the tennis club and... Will said the princess didn't want to be bothered here. You, you have to cancel this. Sorry, can't. Already charged the caterer on our credit card. So don't be late or you won't rate. <laughs> <laughs> We'd better find Linnea. Linnea, Alexia, Chloe and Zoe are inviting friends over and they're going to throw a party. For who? For the princess. Only they think that's you. Aww. What should we do, princess? Well, first you should go back to calling me Linnea, like before. Okay, Linnea. And second, there's nothing to do. Maybe it'll be fun to meet these friends. Yoo-hoo! Guess what? We're throwing a party tonight in honor of you, Princess. How kind of you. We'll be very pleased to attend. Um, one problem. You aren't invited. What? Come on, Sarah. You know we never invite the hired help. Unless you want to serve food or wash dishes or something. You're making a big mistake. See, Linnea completely understands. Good. But tell you what. You can stick around and watch if you want. From a distance. You might learn something. Yeah, because we know how to treat a princess like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe and Zoe's dad is not going to be happy when he sees this bill. Food's good, though. <gasps> Where is that she? girl's waving! It must be awful putting up with this craziness all the time. Some people don't seem to mind. Hi, my name is Chloe, and this is my sister Zoe. Hi. And we'd like to welcome all of you to Horseland. Where is she? Anyway, we have a special treat tonight. A chance to meet the incredibly reclusive, rich, and royal Princess of Spalsbergen. I said, presenting the Princess of Spalsbergen. Princess? <laughs> er, princess? Over here? No, over here. <gasps> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to thank my new friends at Horseland, particularly Sarah. This is a special place, and I'm grateful for the days I've spent here. Who do you think you are? Yeah, who? The Princess of Spalsbergen. She is? You are? Yes, I am. And I'm grateful to these young ladies, Chloe and Zoe. They helped me see what a fine and faithful friend I have in my assistant, Alexia. <sighs> oh, no. No. <laughs> I can't believe Linnea has to leave. Already. And I can't believe we wasted the whole time hanging around with the wrong princess. <sighs> We'd better go say goodbye. I had a wonderful stay, Sarah. Please thank everyone for me. I had fun, too. You really know how to treat a guest like royalty, even when they're not. We know there's no excuse for not telling the truth. And we're sorry. Well, um... We're sorry, too. Even if Alexia is just, you know... The hired help? Well, yeah, that. The thing is, we found out that you are actually nice, and we're lucky we got to know you, sorta. Here, this is something for Horseland. Oh, how pretty! It's called a Dala horse, a traditional gift where I come from. Thank you, Linnea. And thank you for everything. Well, we'd better go, Alexia. There's a plane waiting for us at the airport. Yes, good luck ahead. What did you just say to her? I told her, I will take you home now. Windy only understands Icelandic. What do you know? She wasn't a snob. She just didn't understand what we were saying. That's why she didn't talk to us. Hmm, I knew that. Bless, bless. That means goodbye. 
Me too. She turned out to be pretty nice after all. Right, Angora? I suppose some of us may have jumped to conclusions about her. Yep. The world's full of fine folks. If you just take the time to get to know them. Teeny? in such a hurry. Truffles, truffles, must have truffles. Oh, I smell truffles. Should I warn Teeny about that giant mud puddle she's about to fall into? Oh, oh where are those Teeny, yellow truffles? watch out! Ah! Teeny, are you all right? Angora, why didn't you tell Teeny about that puddle? Teeny could have been hurt. It's not my fault Teeny was blinded by hunger. You know how much Teeny hates getting dirty. Okay, I should have warned you. But it sure was fun to watch. <laughs> much better. Now, about those troubles. Oh. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, Molly, what's up with you? Check out that shirt. Que linda, very nice. Thanks. I made it last night. I used extra stretchy fabric inserts so I can move better when I'm riding. It's really cool. I didn't know you could sew. Yeah, I sew stuff for school a lot. Guess you could call it my hobby. Who do you suppose that is? Nobody we know. They're stopping by the house. Let's go see. Horse land. Nice. Very nice. Could be better. Hmm. Almost. But not quite. That's more like it. Let's see now. Something is missing. That's it! I am the missing ingredient and flavor of the month here at Horseland! Now, Smith Smythe, let's rock their horsey world! It is him! It's who? It figures you wouldn't know. Why do we even bother with such an uncultured bunch of... Zoe, why don't you pretend you've insulted us already and just tell us who that guy is? That so-called guy is only like the coolest, hottest, most cutting-edge fashion designer. On the whole planet! Smite, Smite, Smith, 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 Smith. 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 Okay, but what's he doing here? Smythe is talking to Bailey's parents about a photo shoot. Here at Horseland? I think I'm gonna faint. Did you hear that? He's got a hot new line of dressage wear. Is this for real? I know! Pinch me! <laughs> I wonder what Zoe and Chloe are finding out. What's going on? The girls haven't been this excited in ages. It's all about that Smythe guy. The one with the messed up mane. Shep, did you catch any news? Yep. Listened outside the window. Smythe, Miss Smythe, and Bailey's parents are talking about a big photo shoot. Probably starring me. What about me? I'm a cute pig! Wait till you hear this. Smythe's been scouting locations for his next photo session to show off his new cutting-edge dressage wear line for BGQ. That's bridles and grooming quarterly, for those of you who are fashion-impaired. Which is like, all of you? Anyway, he's chosen Horseland for the shoot. He's coming over here. I love it. It's so, so, what's that word I'm thinking of? Real. It's so real. Fabuloso, people, fabuloso. Oof. Nice horsey. He doesn't know a thing about horses. What's he doing designing dressage wear? Mr. Smith Smythe. It's such an honor to meet you. I see you're wearing my faux peacock chandelier earrings from my latest spring collection. They suit you well. I treasure them. I have two pairs, Smythe. Would you mind telling us what your concept is for the shoot? The concept is simple. Brilliant, but simple. 
It's a postmodern, retro chic function follows form examination of the socio political environmental impact of. Socio political environmental impact of what? Of what? That's it. That's not even a sentence. What does that have anything to do with clothes? Especially dressage wear. <sighs> do I have to spell it out for you? Civilians. I've named them all. The Smythe Riding Shirt, the Smythe Riding Jacket, the Smythe Riding Pants, the Smythe Riding Helmet! And these are just the basics! Pure genius, Smythe. Yes, I know. Okay, people, let's set up! Daylight doesn't last all day! He expects people to ride in those things? Doesn't Smythe know dressage wear has a long history and tradition? I mean, they're designed a certain way all these years for a reason. So, what do you girls think of this BGQ shoot? Will, have you seen Smythe's clothes? If that's what you'd call them, they're ridiculous. Ridiculoso. Forget how ridiculous they look. They'll be impossible to ride in. Don't worry. You don't think any real rider is going to buy those clothes. Do you? A fashion designer like Smythe doesn't design for the real world, Sarah. Well, how could Bailey's folks have agreed to this? I don't think they saw the clothes. But it is good publicity for Horseland to be featured in Bridals and Grooming Quarterly. I guess Horseland could use the publicity. After all, it's just a fashion spread. How bad can it be? Yeah, about that. Uh, there's something I forgot to mention. I right, you'll do fine. We'll need you people on set in half an hour. Huh? Why do we have to be on set? Smythe would like you girls to model the clothes. You're all going to be in my shoot, in the background shots on your horses, wearing my fabuloso new dressage styles. We'll be the laughing stock of the equestrian community. How will we ever be able to show our faces at a serious competition again? Those clothes looked awfully cumbersome. I can't imagine walking in them, much less riding in them. Thank goodness we don't have to actually ride in them. Will said all we have to do is stand there in the background. Way in the background. I hope. I don't know what's the matter with you girls. Don't you know what a fabuloso opportunity this is? Modeling Smythe's newest line is such an honor. A fabuloso honor? You don't know anything about the sacrifices one makes for fashion. Hey. I know about fashion. See, Molly sews clothes for herself and her friends. Comfortable clothes. Uh, yeah, we can tell. I wish those civilians didn't have to be in the shoot. Yeah, it's not like they're professionals. Like us. You're models? Since when? <laughs> oh, well, we could be, unlike the rest of you. Hey, look, there's Bailey. Let's go fill him in, Chloe. Hey, Bailey. Hey, what's up? Wait till you here. The most fabuloso thing has happened to me and Zoe. Well, to Horseland, too. I'm afraid we're all going to be in the photo shoot. Sounds absolutely humiliating. At least we won't have to do anything but stand around. Easy for you to say, we saw Smythe's sketches. Our writers will look like a bunch of clowns. No, 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 no! This is unacceptable! The lighting is way too yesterday, and I'm not talking retro. What happened to the fabuloso lighting we discussed at the meeting? Not fabuloso, people. Not fabuloso at all. My history of dressage book reminded me. Dressage originated in the military, and the traditional dressage wear dates back hundreds of years. And then along came Smythe. I never thought about designing dressage clothes. But if I did, they wouldn't look like that. Shouldn't we say something? I know we're just going to be standing there in the ring for the shoot, but Smythe intends for equestrian people to wear these clothes for real. Come on, who'd buy them? Couldn't something like this actually be bad publicity for Horseland? Why are they so reluctant to speak up? I think they're afraid that if they express their feelings, they'll cause trouble. I'm so bored with this. Maybe trouble is just what we need. Smythe wants everyone on set ASAP. And that means the horses, too. Bye. 
Fabuloso, people! Fabuloso! Now, let's get you onto your mounts! <laughs> okay, who's first? Me! You first, my dear. Be careful, don't drop her. You can get on now. But I can't move. I don't mean to be critical, Smythe, but I can't turn my body. Your new clothes are gorgeous, but they're a little stiff and bulky. Gorgeous is as gorgeous does. Get her on that horse. Excellent, excellent. Now for the rest of the fashion fabulosos. You look great, Zoe. He is so a genius. You look great too, Chloe. You four on my left are awfully quiet. What do you think of your new Smythes? Genius. Masterpieces. Nice. Dude, they're fabu-so-so. Low! So, they are fabuloso! Where's my cappuccino? I need a cappuccino! Now you've done it. What we should have done is tell the truth. These clothes are impossible. Impossible to sit in. Impossible to move in. Impossible to breathe in. And impossible to see in. Oh well, let's just make the best of it. At least we don't have to ride in them. Okay, people, are you ready? Great! Bring on the models! Oh no, no, no! The composition is all wrong! Scooch a little to the left! No, my left! More! 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 Stop! Too much scooch! Scooch back again! Left! Left! Good, good. Now hold... Come on, people! Can't you make those horses look happy? Cappuccino. Handkerchief. Whisk. I think we might be done. See, cross your fingers. Fabuloso, people. Mwah! Poetry on hooves. Now, let's get those, those, whatchamacallit, set up. It's time to jump. What? Not in these clothes. It's too dangerous. Not gonna happen. Not on my watch. But how could you deny these young people such a fabuloso opportunity? One of them could easily end up on the cover of BGQ. There's no need to get upset, Will. Chloe and I want to jump. We just need to know how high. I'm going to call Bailey's folks. Nobody make a move until I get back, you hear? I don't get it, Shep. Why aren't the other kids speaking out about something this important? A lot of people are afraid to speak up because they think they might be unpopular or they might be wrong, so they stay quiet. Well, that's no fun. Takes away all the drama. Gotta have conflict, you know? Okay, who's going to jump first? We have to say something and we have to say it now. We should have said it a long time ago. We can't let Chloe and Zoe do this. I'm going to stop them. Can't move right. Age before beauty. Wait a sec. This was your idea. Okay, you two. I can see you need an extra added incentive. How's this? Whoever does the first jump will get the cover for sure. Say no more. We've got a winner. Good for you. Chloe, no! You can't even move in those clothes, much less jump. Let's go, darling. Chili, this is it, our big chance. Don't be scared, we're going to be famous. Now. You were thrown.
down. Are you hurt? <laughs> I can't move. No, no, not because I'm injured. Because of these horrible clothes. You can forget the cover, darling. Although, I gotta say, the extra padding kept me from getting hurt. Well, don't just sit there. Help me out of this stupid getup. We'd love to, but we can't get off the horses by ourselves. Hmm. I finally reached Bailey's folks. The chute is off. They can't do that. They said if they had had any idea how dangerous the chute would be, they never would have agreed to this in the first place. And they said if anyone gets hurt because of Mr. Smith Smythe, he's liable for all damages. Oh, well, I'm so glad you said you weren't hurt. Can I get that in writing? In your dreams, I stubbed my big toe, you know. Will you autograph it? Bailey, your folks wanted to know why no one spoke up and tried to get a hold of them earlier. Came down pretty hard on me about it. Can't really blame them. I should have said something. We all should have, Will. It wasn't just you. Molly's right. I'm sorry, Will. I guess it takes a lot of courage to speak up sometimes. Each of us was wrong not to say anything. Am I right, girls? You're right, Alma. I could have gotten hurt. This is a disaster. BGQ Magazine's expecting my photos today. I'm ruined, I tell you. Ruined! And I tried so hard. Smythe, my friend, I know how we can help you and Horseland. Dear child, how? What can you do? Grab a cappuccino. Meet us in the tack room. You guys, follow me. Scissors. The sashes must go. Too dangerous. They could catch on something and drag the rider off the horse. I never thought of that. Needle. Thread. You're good. Everybody ready? We're off to the races. I sure hope Molly knows what she's doing in there. Of course she does, Chili. Molly's the greatest. You can trust her. I trust her, Calypso. I trust her, Calypso. Well, I don't. And, wow. Look at this, people. They look great. Well, Smythe, what do you think? Fabuloso, Molly. I'll even give you a credit in BGQ. Wow! Okay, people, let's boogie! We've got some fashion to shoot! Hate to say it, but you did okay, Molly. Good job. Thanks, Chloe! To be honest, those smites weren't exactly practical, but yours are. You know what? I still think our old style dressage wear is really the best. You know what this reminds me of? What, Alma? The story about the Emperor's new clothes. How so? Weren't we just as bad as the people who were afraid to tell the Emperor he was riding through town without anything on? You know, you're right. But at least we had on our Smythes. <laughs> Good one, Bailey. You think <laughs> it's so funny. As if. Kibble is too dry, my tuna is too fishy, and just look at this old collar. I'm ashamed to go out in public with it, and no one's upset anymore. I hate it when everyone's happy. And, and Gora, give it a rest. Yes, please. What are you two talking about? I'm speaking up. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? That's not speaking up, Angora. That's complaining. There's a difference, you know. No, I don't know. What, pray tell, is this so-called difference? See, complaining... Or whining... ...about something is not the same thing as speaking up and telling the truth when you know something is wrong or dangerous. You know very well what I'm talking about. Hmm. 
Angora, watch out! Soon. Oh, I wonder what that's all about. I've got the blanket. Here's some hay. My, my, my. They certainly are busy. Shep, Angora, do you know what's going on? They're getting ready for a couple of visitors. Visitors? I can't wait to meet them! I can. Ugh. We don't need more horses clapping around here. It's not always easy having somebody new around, but I hope we'll all make them feel at home. Yeah, whatever. Company! Oh, company! Ooh. <sighs> I can't believe we're going to have twin foals here. Too bad their mom's sick, but it'll be fun having them for a few days, till she gets better. I've never taken care of a foal before, much less two. I've helped take care of my little sister, Lissa, but my parents always did most of the work. Taking care of a foal is a lot of work. And with twins, it'll be twice the work. Can't wait. Sounds like fun. I hope they don't get homesick. It's a big change coming to a strange stable and leaving their mom, even for a few days. Well, I hope they don't get in the way. They're just foals, Aztec. I don't need a couple of foals under hoof. They're here! Come on, Scarlet. Let's show them a real horse land welcome. Come on, Cream. Come on, Sugar. This is your new home for a few days. Oh, oh. Aren't they just the sweetest things you ever saw? Let's get these two into the stable. Let me do it, Bailey. Oh, I want to. I don't mind. Neither do I. I can handle it. No, I'd better do it. Don't worry about them. They're just excited you're here with us. We'll show you where you'll be staying. I said I would. No, let me. Hold on a sec. This place is kind of nice, isn't it, Sugar? <laughs> I think they like it. These blankets will keep them nice and warm tonight. Hey, those are my blankets. Won't hurt to share them one night, Aztec. Maybe, just one night. Night, sweeties. Tomorrow we'll show you all around Horseland. Good night. Sleep well. Good night, Cream. Night, Sugar. He always rubs my nose good night. He just forgot in all the excitement. Everything will be back to normal tomorrow. It's still out there, Sugar. And it's looking at us. I, I'm scared, Cream. I want Mommy. Can you keep it down in there? Sorry. They're just foals, Aztec. They're not used to sleeping in a stall without their mother. No reason to keep everybody else awake. Is everything all right? We're sort of scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Something's watching us. Where? Out there. That's only the moon. My mother used to tell me there's a great horse living in the moon. Can you see his face? I see it. Me too. Mama told me he's always up there, watching over little ones, keeping them safe while they sleep. Wow, look at them. That's what I want to do when I grow up. Kareem, you look just like the big horses. Come on, it's fun! 
Molly, come see! Come see the little horses! Whoa! Hey, everybody, look at this! Aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? They look so proud of themselves. <laughs> That's it. Show the big horses how it's done. I think I'm gonna be sick. Cream and sugar are just trying to do what we're doing. It's sweet. <laughs> Hi, big horses. Oh, Lessa! Pretty horses. Lessa! Mm. I know the horses wouldn't hurt you on purpose, but there could be an accident. They're so much bigger than you are. What? We'd never hurt anybody. Let's look at some horses more your own size. <gasps> See the baby horses? <laughs> I guess we're not their favorites anymore. Oh, Calypso, that's not it. Babies always get more attention. Babies need more attention. I don't know, Scarlet. I think Aztec's right. Things have changed around here. Time for your morning ride. Morning, babies. I hope you slept all right. <laughs> oh, you think you found something. You like carrots? You two behave yourselves while we're out for our ride. I'll see you when we get back. There's a good baby. Morning, Calypso. Let's get you ready, girl. Oh, sorry, Calypso. Guess I fed your treat to cream and sugar. I'll bring more tomorrow. Promise. What's wrong with you? Hurry up, Molly. We're all saddled up. I'm trying, but Calypso's not cooperating. Honestly, you're more trouble than Lissa. There she is, finally. Sorry, Calypso just doesn't seem to be herself today. Oh, come on, Calypso. Yeah! Honestly, what's eating you, girl? Just look at those two! Ha! That is so cute! No, Calypso, not now! I said stop it, Calypso! <sighs> Too, Calypso. No, she's just being silly. Don't encourage her. What's got into you? You're acting like a big baby. I thought that was what you liked. Here you go. <laughs> no shopping now. There's plenty for everybody. <laughs> you 
cats who have noses for trouble. But there's no use crying over a little spilled water. Those little cults are real cut-ups. Ah, <laughs> oh, Aztec! Watch what you're doing. Now I gotta replace this straw. I don't know what's wrong with you. He thought it was funny when those two did it. Aztec, you don't have to be jealous of the little ones. Ha! I'm not jealous of them. Bailey still cares about you. You'll always be special to him. I know that. But those two foals are taking up all of Bailey's time. I want to go home, Cream. Those horses don't want us here. Yeah, when I first saw the big horses, I wanted to be just like them. You're not going to keep us awake all night again, are you? Sorry. We won't do it again. Good. I miss Mommy. I do too. Maybe we should go home. Can we? Don't see why not. Follow me. How'd you do that? I watched Scarlet open her stall the first night we were here. Now, let's go, but be quiet. Which way is home? That way, I think, on the other side of the hills. I hope the horses aren't acting as strange as they were yesterday. They were like a bunch of big babies. Oh, look! Cream and Sugar's stall is open. The foals are gone! Let's go find Bailey! Good riddance, says I. Now maybe we'll get some attention. That's no way to talk, Aztec. Cream and Sugar are just babies. Who knows what trouble they could get into? We have to find them. What's wrong, Shep? What's happened? The foals are missing. Check the paddock and the arena. I look in the meadow. They aren't in the meadow, arena, or the paddock. Oh! Cream saw me open my stall on their first night here. Hmm, who'd have thought the little foal was so smart? Young foals are always eager to learn. Remember how we were at that age? They sure picked up our gates fast enough when we were practicing dressage. I know how we can find cream and sugar. I put these on the foals the first night they were here. Their scent should be all over them. Here, Shep, can you get a scent? <laughs> Go find him, boy. I think we're lost, Cream. I wish we'd never left Horseland. Well, I'm not going back. Those big horses don't like us. We need to get back to Mom. But which way do we go? There! I think we should go that way. I lost them. He's walking in circles now. Hope he picks up their trail again. Don't worry, I will. I hope we find them before night. I don't want to think about cream and sugar, cold and alone. We should have made them feel more welcome at Horseland.
Well, I don't like this trail. We gotta keep going, sugar. But where are we going? I'm not sure. You think they went in there? They are in there! What do we do now? Remember what Scarlet said? There's a great horse up there in the moon, watching over us. I'm sure he can help us! I'm tired, Cream. We can stop here for a while. We can't go any farther. We'll have to turn back. But we can't leave without Cream and Sugar. They're not here. We have to double back and start looking again. I think I know where they went. Where's Scarlet? They went looking for the moon. Looking for the what? What are you talking about, Scarlet? They're looking for a place they'll feel safe. What? They were safe at Horseland. I think they knew you and Aztec were upset, even if they didn't know why. So they decided to leave. I never wanted that. I just didn't want them hogging all the attention. They never meant to, Aztec. They didn't want to make you feel jealous. It just happened that way. I hope we find them. I think they're up there, somewhere. <gasps> I see them! Look! There they are! There's another trail on top of the canyon. We can get them up there. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. You had us scared for a while. We'll rest the horses a while, then start back. Where were you two headed? We were trying to get home. We thought you didn't want us at Horseland. Sure we wanted you there, at least at first. When my owner started paying so much attention to you, I got a little jealous. I never had to share his attention before, and I blamed you. But it wasn't your fault. I know Molly was a little jealous when her sister first came along, but Molly is really close with Lissa now. I should have remembered that things sometimes change when there's a new addition to a family. We're all family at Horseland, and you're our newest members. Will you come back with us? Oh, sure. All right. Is that cute or what? <laughs> <laughs> Should we start back? I think we're ready. Goodbye, Cream. Goodbye, Sugar. Say hello to your mom for us. Goodbye. See you again soon. We'll remember everything you taught us. See you around. Take care. Don't go getting yourselves into trouble. Our horses sure are noisy today. I think they'll miss the little guys as much as we will. It'll be good to have the stable back to normal. But I'm gonna miss those foals. I guess we sorta love those kids, huh? <laughs> sorta. How'd you like a good, long grooming, Calypso? And you too, Aztec? Come on, let's get going. I've got extra carrots in the stable. Oh, I'm so glad they changed their minds about cream and sugar. It isn't always easy when somebody new joins the family. Oh, but it worked out, didn't it? Yeah, love is a kind of spreading thing, and there's always plenty to go around.
Go away. Angora, we're worried about you. You've been sleeping all day. Don't you think you should get up and, you know, do something? No. You're just going to lie around all day and accomplish nothing? My brain is accomplishing plenty. I'm trying to come up with an idea for a better mouse trap. I thought you were the mouse trap. Teeny, that's not the point. I am a cat who is being true to herself. But what if you don't act the way people think cats should act? Who cares? So it's okay that I don't like to roll around in the mud like people think all pigs do? It's what makes you, you. And Shep's nosy, pushy attitude is what makes him, him. Oh, please. I'm not pushy. Come on, Teeny. Let's run around the arena until we collapse from exhaustion. Let's do it. Come on. Uh, Shep. Actually, you are a little pushy. Running till exhaustion sounds fun, but my inner piglet is thinking nap. Oh, who am I kidding? The shade feels great. <laughs> Our only chance of beating Stanhope Academy this week is Alma. No problem. Nobody rides the course as well as Alma. As long as she doesn't get too wild and hit too many jumps. Well, that was only one. Two. Don't worry, Button. We'll get the rest. Rapido! You've got to hand it to her. She never backs down. It's her style. Her dad taught her to ride like that from the time she was a little girl. We just have to hope she doesn't miss too many jumps in the competition. Now that's fast. That was muy bueno, chica. Fun to watch, too. Must be a blast to ride like that. Nothing's as much fun as riding, except maybe reading. One day, maybe we'll be reading about our victory in the history of Horseland. <laughs> <laughs> what are you cowpokes high-fiving and laughing about? Yeah, didn't our supposed star rider just knock over three of the rails? Talia Bentley would never miss that many. If Talia were here, she'd be shaking in her boots. I don't think so. That's Talia in the glasses. She's been scouting you for the last hour, and I don't see much shaking. So that's the great Talia Bentley. I just checked out their top rider. This girl rides like she's completely out of control. She's obviously never had any proper training. No training? Out of control? I'll show you who's in control. Right. Like you're doing now? Who do you think you are? I'm a champion, unlike you. I don't ride wild. A champion is always in control. My dad taught me how to ride. He knows everything about riding there is to know. Oh, really? Well, my dad was on the Olympic show jumping team. My coaches have won a total of five U.S. championships between them. So, what exactly does your dad do? He's the foreman here at Horseland. <laughs> Enough said. Don't pay any attention to her, Alma. But she's right. Who am I kidding? I'll never be a champion riding the way I do. My dad was never an Olympic rider. Who cares? Your dad knows you, and he's taught you to be the best instinctive rider I've ever seen. I care. Instinct has taken me as far as it can. It's time for me to change the way I ride and the way I control my emotions. Or the only place I'll ever be able to win a jumping event is right here against you guys. That was kind of rude. Kind of? You're doing French braids? Yep. I'm gonna give Pepper and me matching hairstyles. Won't we be the cutest? But Chili and I were going to do matching French braids. Well, that's too bad, because we're already doing it. You'll have to think of something else. I hate you. I hate you more. I hate you most. That's fine with me. You're out of my social circle. Circle? You don't have a social circle. You have a social spot, and I'm it. No one else likes you. They will when I'm not with you. And where exactly are you going to find someone to even talk to? Hey, girls. Hi, Hi Bailey. Bailey. And Sarah. Hi, Zoe. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Except my sister is really stuck up, selfish, and completely insufferable. So you two should ignore the rude girl with the bad lip gloss and start hanging out with me. I know, I know, you never thought you could be so lucky, but it's true. You know what's even luckier? 
You two can hang out with me. I'll even help you do whatever you're doing. Not as much as I will. Okay, sure. You can go empty these. Great. Love to. So, where do you want them dumped? The compost bin? You remember, that place where we put the horse manure. Oh, of course. The compost bin. Where else would the horse manure? Okay, Alma, let's see if you can shave another two seconds off your time. Molly, I wasn't kidding before. Talia was right. If I want to be a champion, I have to get myself under control. I can't depend on speed to win. From now on, I'm taking it one jump at a time. Slow and easy. No emotion, no mistakes. Why do you care so much about what that ice queen, Talia, says anyway? She's had the best coaches money can buy. You've had the best coach love can buy. You've been trained by your dad. But her dad was an Olympic champion, and that's what I am going to be someday, even if it means changing the way I ride. Otherwise, I'll spend my whole life losing the big ones. Now, if you'll excuse me, I don't need you to time me anymore. You're welcome to watch, but please, keep your comments to yourself. Big deal, you cleared one jump. Since you don't want my help, you can find somebody else to hang out with. I'm out of here. Fine, go. Hi, Molly. Do you have anything you need dumped in the compost pile? No, not at the moment. So can I hang out with you? Zoe and I are never speaking to each other again, and I just have to find a friend before she does. I'll even help you do chores. Please? Okay, okay. Stop begging. It's embarrassing. I have a feeling that this day is going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, goody! <laughs> Etiquette for equestrians. Teeny, there's something strange in the air today. Hey, Alma, what are you doing? I'm reading, Zoe. What's the problem? Oh, no problem at all. I was just thinking maybe I could hang out with you. Hang out with me? I can help you get ready for the competition this weekend. Well, sure, Zoe. I'd love your help. Really? I mean, great. Where do we start? Well, I've been reading about how important proper etiquette is for the polished rider. And I think that's right up your alley, Zoe. It is. I love etiquette. It's strange Chloe volunteered to work. Well, I saw Alma and Molly get in a fight, and then Alma rode off with Zoe. Zoe and Chloe being friendly, and worse yet, doing chores. Where will the madness end? I don't know, but I think there's a big battle of brewing. And I want front row seats. Wow, what a morning. All this weirdness makes me hungry. Waking up makes you hungry. But it has been quite a day so far. Molly, here comes Alma. Maybe you two can make up. Now, when you accept an award of any kind, you must always remember to smile and... Don't forget to thank the little people. The little people? That was Zoe talking, not Alma. Alma, we're going to lunch. Would you like to come? Hmm, I think I'm booked. Zoe, what's our schedule look like? Victory visualization exercises, followed by a cuticle massage, three run-throughs on the course, and then we're going to review the videotapes of last year's competition. Come, Zoe. Now I've seen everything. Actually, you haven't. Okay, I'm ready for my chores. Uh, actually, we're headed for lunch now. Perfect. I packed mine just in case. You want to eat with us? Love to. Okay, it's visualization time. Breathe in. Now. Picture yourself at the starting line. You've got a sharp little pair of tan riding pants on with a crisp white crew shirt. Zoe, it's the riding we want to visualize, not my riding outfit. Oh, right. 
But let's just say you look very sharp. My legs are starting to cramp. Fight through it, Alma. All the top athletes visualize their success before it happens. I, myself, always visualize a shopping trip before I head for the mall. It really works. I always get what I want, plus it's like shopping twice. Bueno, bueno. But can we maybe move it along a little faster? Sure. Okay. Close your eyes. Now, you and Button blaze off faster than ever. That's not how I'm riding tomorrow. You're not? No. I'm riding like Talia, slowly, cleanly, and totally under control. You do know that that's not your style, right? Zoe, the whole point of all this is that I'm changing my style. Oh, right. My old style isn't going to cut it. Okay, if you say so. Why not? I'm changing too. Look, I even have a callus. Zoe, that's a leaf. Oh, you're right. <sighs> <laughs> you know, Zoe, you're all right. Thanks for helping me with these. Sure, maybe after the competition tomorrow, we can do some other stuff together. Yeah, if I win first prize, we could go shopping or something. And I'll show you how to do the latest braids for Button's hair. Sure, Button will like that. Anyway, back to visualizing the competition. As you slowly ride towards the first jump. We all know how important it is to do well against Stanhope Academy tomorrow. The only way we're going to win is if every one of you does your very best. My good friend Alma is going to lead us to the biggest victory in Horseland's history. Please, my good friend Molly and I will be doing just as much leading, thank you. Remember, we're all on the same team. Alma, you'll be anchoring the lineup. I think you can beat their top rider, Talia. She rides cleanly, but she's so careful that her times are quite slow. If you really let it rip, you can take her with ease. That's the old Alma you're talking about. The new Alma is going to beat Talia at her own game. I'm going to ride the cleanest round anyone's ever seen. Alma, are you really serious about changing your style now? Absolutamente! For sure! But Alma, this is nuts. You're the best natural rider I've ever seen. Not anymore. From now on, she's an unnatural rider. Oh, that sounds promising. Okay, everybody. Let's just get to work. Alma, you start. All right, Button. In control. Poised and in control. Alma, isn't it obvious? You're not cut out for this type of riding. We have two more visualizations and a cuticle makeover planned before the competition. Oh, I'm sure that will solve everything. Sorry, but everyone will just have to get used to the new me. Anybody that can't deal with that, well, I don't need them. Hey, people change. If Alma is really going to be different, then maybe we just need to get used to it and support her. Now you're talking, the new Alma is much more interesting than the old one. She and I are even going shopping together. <laughs> Where are you going, cowpokes are us? <laughs> cowpokes are us. Good one, Chloe. I gotta tell ya, I can't believe the goofy things we've been doing. Like slopping pigs, emptying buckets of manure, hanging out with them? Really, Alma is the only one with any hope, now that she's trying to change. Thank goodness Alma has us now. Can you imagine her being stuck with you for the rest of her life? Come on, Chloe, let's get out of here. So, Alma's one of them now? Button, we have to win tomorrow. But if what I'm doing is so right, why doesn't it feel that way? It's really nice, huh? Yeah, and look, there's Talia over there. Her horse is nice. They've got a good team. Speaking of teams... Okay, one more time. P-O-I-S-E. 
Pretty ones invariably succeed at everything. Hi, Talia. Air kisses. Well, if it isn't the cowgirl, knocked any jumps over yet today? You! Alma, why don't you tell Talia about the new you? New you? Well, nobody can fault you for wanting to change. Oh, she has. Her whole demeanor, including the way she rides. She's not like the others at Horseland anymore. She's one of us now. Well, welcome to the club. Actually, you were the one who made me realize that I had to change my riding style or I'd never be a champion. So if I beat you today, you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. With that horse and the way you've been trained, or should I say haven't been trained, there's no chance of you beating me. But it's good to see you're on the right track, unlike the rest of the riffraff at Horseland. Those riffraff are my friends. Alma, breathe in, breathe out. You're regressing. Quick, close your eyes and visualize yourself. Visualize this. The old Alma's back, and she's going to ride faster and freer than she ever has before. I'm going to beat Talia today, and it won't be because I'm like any of you. And by the way, Talia, I looked up your father on the internet. He was an alternate on the Olympic team. He never even competed, and he didn't win a thing. At least he went. What did your father ever do? He trained me well. You're too wild to ever beat me. You'll choke, you hear? You'll choke! You guys always have been and always will be my best friends. I'm going to ride that course today quicker and looser than I ever have before. Oh, and guys, lo siento. I'm sorry I acted like such a jerk. No apology necessary. We're just glad to have you back. Yeah, one more lunch with Chloe, and I was going to have to go shopping with her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the competition is about to begin. We need to get in the line at the arena. Alma, there's just you and Talia left to go. If you can beat her, we'll win. No problem, Will. I'm going to give it everything I've got. And now, from Stanhope Academy, number 15, Talia Bentley. Talia's good. Poised to perfection. Stanhope's in the lead now. Alma, even if you knock down a rail, you can still beat her if you go fast enough. Just ride like you always do. Button and I are ready. Hey, Alma! Make your father proud. Our last rider of the day is from Horseland, number 22, Alma Rodriguez. <gasps> They're flying around that course. Go, Alma! champion trophy goes to number 22, Alma Rodriguez of Horseland. All right! The real Alma is back, and she's a real champion for Horseland! <laughs> well, it's all over. Now that everyone's going back to being themselves again, it's really boring. Oh, but you have to be who you are. Everyone always says pigs like to get muddy, so I started obsessing about what I was missing. Finally, I tried rolling in the mud when no one was around. Really? What happened? I broke out in the hives and itched for days. That's why I'm always going to be myself, no matter what. Normally, I'd say that's a good thing, Timmy. But in your case, I'm not so sure. Angora, as long as you're being your catty self, Horseland will never be boring. Goodbye for now, and remember, when in doubt, be true to yourself. Chip! Chip! 
Chip! Come on, come on! Come on where? Bailey was raking leaves! And Angora thinks they're deep enough to jump in! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I love to jump in the leaves! You told Teeny it was deep enough. Not nice, Angora. Hey, I said I thought they were deep enough. I didn't lie. No, but you stretch the truth, and that can cause serious trouble. Remember when Chloe and Zoe almost ruined Horseland forever? Yes, Shep. I mean, no, Shep. What happened? Well, it all started bright and early one morning. Everybody. Dawn ride? Meet at the stables at six? Says so right here on the schedule. Hello? Hey, Molly. Will, how come I'm the only one who showed up for the Dawn ride? Because it got moved to next Tuesday. <sighs> oh, man. Seems like these Horseland schedules are getting harder to keep track of. You can say that again. Ooh, I would, but I'm too sleepy. Well, something has to be done. Like what? Like it's time for Horseland to join the 21st century. Like how? Come by the stables in a few hours and you'll see. Thanks for coming, everybody. What's this all about, Molly? You may have noticed, it's getting harder and harder to keep track of everything going on at Horseland. That's for sure. Well, it's time to do something about it. How are we going to do that? We're going to start communicating. We're going to join the 21st century. We're going to have a website. How's that going to help? We'll post a daily schedule. We'll share up-to-the-minute news and information about Horseland. Sounds like a good idea, Molly. We could even post our own videos. Starring us. And people who aren't near a computer can pick up a daily printout. We could have a comic strip. Maybe Will could do a blog with horse tips? Yeah, I guess I could. We can even give safety tips for using the internet. Yeah, like always ask your mom or dad before going online. And never give out personal information, like your full name and address. Perfect. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's, Let's get do it. it. Because of recent wildfires, this year's meadow ride will take the East Trail. I'll do a story on the Horseland Riding Facilities. The key to dressage is color coordination. Pick the wrong combination and nothing can help. Like, tan and gray are so last season. Triple A rating from the State Riders Association. Dear Sarah, what's the best way to calm a nervous horse? Signed, Concerned. Dear Concerned, your horse won't trust you if you don't trust yourself. Uh, if you let the stirrups get too long, it makes it harder to sit right and control your horse. harder to sit right and control your horse. Uh, so don't do that. Nice work, Will. Where's our video? It's next. for riding anymore. So, what do you think? Well, it was, was, uh, um, was... What did it have to do with Horseland? What do you mean? We're part of Horseland, aren't we? It was about us. 
I think that's the point. The website should be about things that matter to everyone at Horseland. Yeah, yeah, like community interest stories. Well, we can do that. Yeah, we can do community interest. Great. Let's get together tomorrow with new projects. This is going to be great. Can we find community interest stories? How hard can it be? This is hard. Ugh. Too bad there aren't any movie stars living around here. Yeah, that'd make a great story. And you know, there is a star who lives around here. Who? Catrice Claire. Who? Well, she's not a star star, but she helped you make up for a car commercial last year. That's practically a star. Yeah. Who knew that one of the most important people in the movie business was living right next door to Horseland. That's right, a major Hollywood personality, and she has an ultra-secret private getaway right in our own backyard. Hold on, I never heard of any movie stars living around here. Well, duh, that's what makes it an ultra-secret. Who is this person? Yeah, what's her name? Uh, sorry, can't say. Yeah, she made us promise not to tell who she was. Oh, I think I know who it is. You do? Lucy DiCarlo, right? Oh, yeah, Lucy DiCarlo, right. Can we see where she lives? No, we promise to respect her privacy. Right, a reporter's word is important. I'm impressed with your skills as investigative journalists. So what's your next big news story? Oh, just wait and see. Yeah, it's going to top this one by a mile. Come on, tell us. Go on, Zoe. You tell them. Nah, I'll let you. Okay, then I will. It's about a bear that we saw near Horseland. Yeah, a bear uh, earlier today. A bear? Really? I haven't seen a bear around here in a long time. <laughs> well, hey, that's what makes it news, right? A bear? Yeah, a bear, Will, just today. Well, it wasn't a big bear, just a cub, really. A cute little guy. Yeah, a lost cub. That's worse. Why? If we have a lost cub, there's a mother out looking for it. And that could mean trouble. You gotta tell me where you saw it. Well, we didn't exactly quote unquote see the. Up on Charlton's Ridge! I better check it out. Chloe, you and Zoe should go with Will and get video. I'd love to, Molly, but, um, Pepper has a tender ankle. Yeah, and I'm way behind on my blog. You know, for the website. Well, I'm the editor, so if there's news, I'll go. It's kinda late, but we can head out first thing in the morning. Don't worry, Molly. We'll take good care of the website while you're gone. You can count on us. Let's go and find that bear cub, Molly. Got my camera. So, Zoe, what's tomorrow's lead story? It's got to be bigger than a bear. What about the forest fire? What forest fire? The one rushing down the mountain towards Horseland? What? Where? Well, it was last year. But hey, it'd still make a great story. I guess. All of the details will be true. We'll just have to change the date. This is going to be the most exciting sight on the whole entire absolute web. Whoa, Scarlet! Let's see if my newest blog is posted yet. Dear Sarah, what's the hottest stable around? Hey, that's not what I wrote. What is this? Chloe? Zoe? Yeah, Sarah? How did you get a picture of Will and Molly with a bear when they just left to go find it? We made it on the computer. Looks pretty good, huh? But it's dishonest. Look, Sarah, nobody's gonna read this website if it's dull. Look at the hits. We've more than doubled our readers since the changes. But you're lying. 
Sarah, you don't understand the news business. It's not about telling the truth. It's about getting a big audience. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. Kind of steep through here. No one said reporting the news would be easy. This is where they said, but there are no tracks. Hey! Molly! Well! Hold on! <gasps> Molly, don't move! We're okay, Will. Ow! Can you bend it? A little. Well, it doesn't feel broken, but we better get you to a doctor to make sure. Molly! What happened? Just a sprain, I hope. Did you find the bear? No, we didn't see anything. Maybe it was just a big raccoon we saw. Yeah, a squirrel or whatever. Come here, you have to see this. The website traffic has tripled! Bears? Fires? What, what have you done here? These stories aren't real. They're not true. Hey, they're mostly true. This isn't right. When I get back from the doctor, we'll talk. All our hard work and nobody appreciates it. While Molly's away, we'll get some stories so big nobody can give us grief. Look at that puppy, digging holes everywhere. He's worse than a gopher. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? If you're thinking what I'm thinking, we're thinking it. Come on, let's go. What are they up to? I don't know, but I doubt it's any good. <laughs> I still can't believe some of the stories they posted. You're going to have to set things right. I know, but at least their tales were sort of harmless. What's up, Sarah? There's trouble at Horseland. What's wrong? Just come on, now! Let's go! <laughs> What's the State Riders Association doing here? All they'd say is there's some violation. Hold on. They want us to wait out here. For what? There are some people from the State Riders Association here. They're inspecting the place for safety violations. Horseland could lose its AAA rating. The whole place might close. Are you serious, Bailey? If the rating falls below C, the association will move the horses to another ranch. <gasps> this is so unfair. They can't do this. It's not like there are really any safety problems at Horseland. Yeah? How would you know? Oh, well, we just know. This is the safest place on the planet. So why would this breaking news be on our site? Fences are an important part of a stable, but poor maintenance turns them into accidents waiting to happen. For holes. To a horse, they mean a twisted ankle. To a rider, disaster. Whoa, whoa, Horseland is not like that. People looking at the website don't know that. Someone out there called the Riders Association. Looks like someone's been busy working overtime on our website. Well, um. We didn't mean to cause a problem. We just uh, exaggerated things a little. A little? 
a little lot. How'd you make the place look so bad? With the rusty nail in the scrap heap. It wasn't on any fence. And let me guess, you dug the gopher holes yourselves. Yeah, and it took forever. Chloe, you know the horses could have been hurt. Hey, we were going to fill them back in when those inspector people showed up. This is bad. It's hard to fix a reputation once it's been damaged. We never dreamed we'd cause harm to Horseland. It's just, the bigger the story was, the more interested people were. We'd do anything to fix this, but we don't know what to do. <laughs> ah! Hey, careful, Calypso. That costs a lot of money. I have an idea how to fix this. How's that? The same way it started, with the news report. This time a true one. Can I borrow this? Well, I guess if you're careful. Come on, you two. It's time to set the record straight. Okay, guys, I finished. See what you think. Go, go, go! Today we're revisiting a Horseland report to show you how easy it is to manipulate reality. Only telling part of the story is not the same as telling the real story. Concern was raised about broken fences. But the fences around Horseland are fine. And the gopher holes? Gopher holes! To a horse, they mean a twisted ankle. To a rider, disaster. Looks like the gophers got a bad rap. Those holes were dug by humans. Exciting stories get people's attention. But it takes the truth to get their trust. Yeah, and the truth is, Horseland is totally safe. So safe that we thought it was boring. We are sorry for misleading everyone. It's a good thing the Writers Association agreed to look at the webcast. I can't believe how dirty I got filling those phony gopher holes. Dirty? I actually, ugh, sweated. Hey, I won't bend the truth ever again because I never again want to go through that. Hey, at least you got some good screen time. And at least Horseland got its good name back. That's yeah, what counts. That's you what that's betcha. for sure. Finally. So you see, Angara, you bend the truth, you'll break it. And truth is a mighty precious thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, teeny copy. Can you forgive me? Oh, of course we do. <gasps> hey, look over there. Now there's a leaf pile that's honestly deep enough to jump in. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> hey, wait for me, I wanna jump in it too. Watch it, pig. What do you think you're doing? Angora! Guess that'll do it from here. See you around. Hey, save some of that leaf jumping fun for me. And you're still napping. I'm a cat. Cat napping is one of the things we do best. 
You should have come with us. We've been all over the Horseland Meadow checking things out. It was fun and great exercise. I get all the exercise I need chasing mice. That reminds me. What's for dinner? All that exercise has made me hungry. You're always eating. And it shows. We pigs are supposed to be nice and round. Too bad you're not a cat. We're naturally slim and sleek. Admit it, you're jealous. Am not. There's a size and shape that's right for everyone. The important thing is being healthy. And that means the right amount of food and exercise. So, let's go have lunch. You must have really missed Zoe this last couple of weeks. Zoe? Yes. But all those training rides? <laughs> Not on your life. I stayed right here in the stable and got just as many oats as you. Talk about luxury. If anyone deserves to be pampered, it's a surefire winner like me. Ha! Everyone knows Nani and I are going to win the cross-country challenge. That's our thing. Uh, you're forgetting that Zoe is the captain of the cross-country team, and that's because she rides the best horse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody! Look who's back! Zoe! Glad you're feeling better. Good to have you back. <laughs> oh, I missed you, Pepper. I can't wait to get this saddle on you and go for a ride. Whoa, girl, looks like you've put on a few pounds. <gasps> I thought I could count on you, sis. You were supposed to make sure Pepper got her exercise while I was out sick. I'm sorry, Zoe. There just wasn't enough time to do everything for two horses. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll soon have you back in shape. Pepper already has a shape. Round. Cross-country jumps won't be any problem for Scarlet, that's for sure. I hope Pepper's tummy doesn't hit the rail when she goes over. <sighs> to be ready, we've got to work even harder than I thought. You can do it, Zoe. We've still got a while till the tryout. <laughs> right. I want you and Pepper in top form when Sunburst and I beat you. <laughs> Either those fences have gotten higher, or the rails have gotten looser. Maybe you've just gotten wider. Once you lose a few pounds, you shouldn't have any problems. Or you could just use the extra weight to plow through all the obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> A nice bag of oats, Chili. You earned it. I'm really looking forward to dinner tonight. I'm afraid we have to cut back on your oats, Pepper. I spoke to the vet, and he told me just how much to give you to help you lose that weight you gained. Sorry. It wasn't my fault. How come I have to be the one to suffer? Everybody's making such a big deal about a few extra pounds. And that pitiful little bag of oats. Why, how's a horse supposed to sleep when she's still thinking about dinner? If I could just have a little midnight snack, maybe I'd feel better. <gasps> I'm in luck. One snack won't make any difference to getting back in shape again. Besides, everybody already thinks I'm fat. What's the use of denying myself a little nibble?
What's wrong, Zoe? Pepper won't jump. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Pepper. You've made this jump a hundred times. Maybe she could float over. <laughs> She's as big as a balloon. Come on, Pep. You're embarrassing me. wrong with you, Pepper? It just seems like you can't do anything right lately. You're making me, I, I mean us, look bad. If you can't do any better than that, we might as well not even race. Maybe we'll do better tomorrow. <sighs> Zoe's right. It's all my fault. All because of this added weight I'm carrying. I've got to stop eating so much. No, I've got to stop eating, period. I'm going to lose this weight fast. I'm going to make Zoe proud of me again. What's up, Pepper? You're not eating, and this is a really tasty grazing. Oh, yeah. Looks good. Mmm. Tasty. Mmm. Nothing better than fresh grass. Nobody's going to make me eat. I've got too many pounds to lose if I'm going to be in shape for the tryout. Oh, but that grass sure does look yummy. Mmm. No, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to do it. I've got to think of something to take my mind off food. Hey, I've got an idea. How about a few laps around the pasture, just to keep in training? Training isn't just about exercise, Pep. Sunburst is right. It's also about getting enough rest to let your body recuperate from the hard training you've done and eating healthy food to give you energy. Food like this delicious grass. You just want me to be fat and out of shape so you can win. If no one wants to run with me, I'll run by myself. I was just trying to help. Pepper's sensitive because she feels overweight and out of shape. She'll come around if we encourage her instead of teasing her. Tired and hungry. Are you okay, Pepper? You look worn out. Me? Worn out? No! There's nothing like a little exercise to make you feel great. Really? You looked exhausted when we left the pasture. I was just getting my second wind. I could have run for another hour. Hello, my sweet chili. <laughs> Have a nice dinner, Pepper. See you tomorrow. There's no way I'm going to regain the weight I lost with all that running. Peppa we know, and replaced her with this one. All that running before a race isn't good for her. She has to give her body time to rest and recuperate. We have to convince her to stop. 
Stop, Pepper. We need to talk. Uh, out of my way. I'm trying to exercise. You've been doing too much of that. We're worried about you, all of us. You're all jealous. Now that I'm getting back into shape, you're afraid that I'll make you look bad. Too much exercise is almost as bad as not enough. You won't have anything left for the tryout. You must think you've already won just because I'm an out of shape butterball. Well, not anymore. Zoe and I will be the ones going to the big race and we're going to win it too. I'll run rings around you, just like I'm doing to this pasture. Pepper, you're your normal self again. I knew you could do it, Pepper, and have I got a treat for you. A nice, juicy carrot. Come on, Pepper, you've earned it. Not hungry, girl? That's okay, you're still the best. You'll be the fastest, most beautiful horse ever. A perfect representative for Horseland. I know you're not going to let me down, Pepper. It's almost time for the tryout. It won't be much of one with me and Sunburst in it, but you'll have a good spot to watch us cross the finish line ahead of you. Only if we turn around and look back, you're forgetting who's the captain of the cross country team. That doesn't mean you'll be the fastest today. And only one horse and rider from each stable gets to go to the state finals. Don't worry about Nani's bragging. We're going to win, and I want you to look beautiful when we cross the finish line. That's funny. This is the wrong time of year for a horse to be shedding. It's almost like your hair's falling out. Time to mount up. I've got some great horse shampoo that'll take care of that after the tryout. Ready, girl? We'll show everyone who's the best horse at Horseland. Careful, Pepper. I can't win if I'm not in the saddle. Are you all right, Pep? Don't worry about me. I'm not some roly-poly pushover anymore. I'm a lean, mean racing machine. I have the honor of starting the tryouts today. So, on your mark, get set, go! <laughs> You can do it, Pepper! <gasps> Don't worry, Pepper. Anybody could slip going over a stream. We'll catch him. Let's go! Faster, Sunburst! Show them who's the cross-country king! You can do it! I know you can! What is it, Pepper? What's wrong? Pepper, get up, girl! Oh, please, Pepper, you're just tired! I don't know why you're so tired out, but it'll be okay. You can rest while I go for help. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back as fast as I can. Whoa, Sunburst! Great job, Sunburst! You won! We're going to the state finals! <laughs> Fantastic ride, Nani! Well, cross country is Sunburst's specialty. No one could catch him today. Yeah. Just wait till next time. Dream on, Calypso. But where are Pepper and Zoe? 
What is it, Scarlet? I wonder where Zoe and Pepper are. They shouldn't be that far behind. Maybe Pepper lost a shoe or came up lame. Or maybe something else is wrong. What's wrong? Pepper lay down on the trail in the woods and won't move. I don't know what's the matter with her. I wanted to win, but not like this. We all wanted to win, but now I just want Pepper to be all right. You take Calypso. Since our cell phones don't work out here, I'll dash back to the stable and call the vet from there. The rest of you can go help Pepper. Thanks, Molly. Oh, Pepper, why are you so tired? Pepper's going to be all right. You'll see. Molly will be here with the vet before you know it. What's taking so long? Zoe, it's only been a few minutes. What's wrong, Pepper? Don't you feel good? I'm really tired and hungry. I haven't eaten very much lately. But why? I just wanted to lose weight. I wanted to be ready for the tryout, and I didn't want you to make fun of me for being fat anymore. We didn't really mean it. We were just teasing. I know, but it still hurt. And I just wanted to lose a few pounds, but it never seemed like enough. We're sorry, Pepper. <laughs> we never thought our words would be so hurtful. The vet says you'll be as good as new soon, but you have to rest and eat to get your strength back. And he's going to come check on you every few days to make sure you're following orders. He says he thinks Pepper's hardly been eating anything, but I fed her every day. Well, if Pepper didn't eat her food, what happened to it? I wonder. That's what happened to the food. Pepper didn't eat any of it. It's like she knew I thought she needed to lose weight. And we were laughing at her. None of this would have happened if I'd kept my promise and taken good care of Pepper while you were sick. I was just so busy trying to get Chili ready for the race. I'm sorry, Zoe. We were all too busy to notice someone needed our help. Thank goodness Pepper's going to be okay. First, you rest and start eating right again. And when you're stronger, we'll give you just the right amount of exercise. Pretty soon, you'll be the healthiest horse in Horseland. It sure is great to see you back to your old self. And my old weight. It makes me tired just watching them. Maybe if you exercised a little more, Teeny. Hey. Like Shep said, there's a right size and shape for everyone, and everyone is different. Just imagine if I were as slim and sleek as you. Ugh. And what would be so wrong with that? Why, I wouldn't look like my beautiful round piggy self anymore. I'd look like a bald cat. <laughs> <laughs> Turning out to be another beautiful morning here at Horseland. Fall's just about done. Already getting that first sniff of winter in the air. It's an awfully nice time of year. Of course, it's a time of big changes, too. But I guess things are always changing. Some things just beginning. Others ready to end. Reminds me of another winter not so long ago, and a frisky old cat by the name of Mosey. Now, old Mosey had been Sarah's pet for as long as either of them could remember. When Sarah was growing up, they spent a lot of time outdoors together. Mosey never was much of an indoor cat. 
they enjoyed milk together in the park. <laughs> they passed time together in the backyard. <laughs> they touched the sky together. And together, they rode Scarlet for the first time. Wherever Sarah and Scarlet went, Mosey would come along too. So naturally, when Sarah began coming to Horseland, Mosey was right there. Only Mosey liked it so much, he never left. He took right to the life of a barn cat. He'd sleep up in the hay, and he'd look for Sarah between catnaps. There was a time when no self-respecting mouse would go anywhere near Mosey. Not if he knew what was good for him. But times had changed. Poor old Mosey could no longer hear or see so well. Yes, sir, old Mosey had seen better days. But through all the aches and pains, there was one thing he never lost. And that was his sense of humor. <laughs> oh, it's you, Mosey. Morning, sunshine. Uh, not yet, Mosey. It's too cold to get up. Hey, <laughs> just doing my job. You want to sleep in? That's your business. Thanks, Mosey. I'll just sleep a little longer. Uh, till about uh, summer. Yep, Horseland was a happy place for old Mosey. But like I said, just as all things have a beginning, they also have an ending. Mosey, look out! <laughs> Mosey. What was all that about, Chep? You've got to be more careful, Mosey. You almost got hit by a car. Thanks, Shep. Guess I didn't hear it coming. Oh, my gosh! Mosey, Shep, are you two okay? <coughs> you have to watch where you're going. We almost ran over you. <coughs> oh, poor Mosey. <coughs> Works every time. Sarah loved that old cat. And that old cat loved her back. <laughs> Bonds like they had can't ever be broken. Man, I love winter. Why is that, Calypso? They give us extra food. You know, we have to keep our energy up. I can't stand cold weather. Oh, this isn't cold. Remember the blizzard we had a few years back? Now that was a cold winter. How cold was it, Jimber? Everyone nearly starved that winter, especially the wolves. They were everywhere. Right. There was no food in the mountains. They came here to Horseland looking for something to eat. You're kidding, right, Jimba? Afraid not. Ha! I'm not afraid of wolves. Well, I am. Um... Hey, Button, want to have some fun? Always. If a wolf messed with me, He'd be having his own teeth for breakfast. <clears throat> and just what do you think you're doing here? Well, hello to you too, Angora. Haven't seen you around lately. Civilized cats don't hang out in the rafters of a bar. What's your business here, Mosey? Oh, not much. What are you... Uh, oh! Just this. Thanks, Angora. Won't need it long. The nerve! When a wolf hasn't eaten for days, well, you don't want to cross paths with him. Oh! If a wolf comes near me, I'll kick him all the way into tomorrow. Chili, I still can't believe you're not afraid of wolves. They wouldn't dare mess with... Oh, my gosh! Look out, Chili! It's a wolf! <laughs> help! 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 Oh, help me! <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Chili. It's just old Mosey 
having a little fun. Are you okay, Mosey? <laughs> fine, fine. Thought you weren't afraid of wolves, Chili. He's not. <laughs> He's afraid of cots. <laughs> <laughs> ha, real funny. I knew it was Mosey all along. Hey, sorry, Chili. Wouldn't love teasing you so much if I didn't love you. How would you like to get out and run, Scarlet Girl? <laughs> How about you, Mosey? You want to run too? You just want to be scratched. You silly old thing. Okay, have it your way. Come on, girl. You've been cooped up in that stall. Let's work the kinks out of those legs. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, girl? <gasps> Mosey! <laughs> Mosey! Look out! I see. Well, we've done the best for him we can. Mm. He's trying to make him War with us, Mosey. <laughs> I wish Sarah and I could have gotten there in time. You tried, Scarlet. There was nothing you could do. Do you think, you know, he's going to be all right? I'm no doctor, but he doesn't look good. Mosey can't leave us. He's part of our family. Just think how hard it's going to be for Sarah if Mosey, if he... Yeah, we know, Scarlet. Don't worry, Mosey. You're going to be okay. Because I'm not going to let anything happen to you. <sighs> I give you my word. See? What did I tell you? Mosey's gonna be fine. It's too early to say, Sarah. I've done all I can do. We'll just have to wait and see. Winter's always a busy time around Horseland. Got to turn up the heater so the water doesn't freeze. And the farrier comes by to give the horses their winter shoes. Yes, sir. Winter means a lot of work and a lot of changes. What's that, Molly? It's a new blanket for Calypso. You're going to put nylon on her? Yeah, I was gonna. But it doesn't breathe. Since when do blankets breathe? That just means that it lets out the horse's body heat so they don't get too hot. Oh. Here, try this one. I have an extra. Thanks, Alma. Winter's never easy, but that one was harder than most in a lot of different ways. How's he looking, Dr. Martin? Not too good, I'm afraid. But he's getting better, right? Mosey's an old cat, dear. I don't think he's going to get better. You'd better prepare yourself for that, Sarah. No, Doc. You just don't know Mosey, that's all. He's gonna get better. He'll see. Sarah? What did Dr. Martin say? Oh, said it might take some more time. <laughs> that's all. Can we help? Maybe we can take turns staying with him, huh? Thanks, you two. But he's my responsibility. I told him he'd be okay, and I'm not going to let him down. I want to stay with him, okay, guys? Alone. Sure thing, Sarah. We understand. Feeling. Spry as a kitten. Looks like it. You wanna see me do a backflip? That I'd like to see. Okay. Here goes. Ta-da! You still got it. 
Still the fastest backflip ever in Horseland. Wanna see it again? No, that's okay. Now, Mosey, tell me how you're really feeling. Well, sir, I'm feeling so good, I might take a little stroll all by myself. Stroll, Mosey? Where to? Out there. Figure the night air would do me good. You sure you gotta do this? Would have gone a long time ago, but I couldn't let Sarah down. You two have been lucky to have each other. That we have. <laughs> but it's time now. Uh, if I can do it. Here, lean on me. Thanks, Shep. But I can take it from here. Mosey? Didn't mean to wake you, Teeny. Where are you going? I'm, uh, kind of tired of laying around. Thought I'd go off on a little vacation. Well, hey, can I go too? Sorry, not this time, friend. But if you go, who's gonna wake me in the mornings? Guess you're just gonna have to wake yourself. Take care, sweet girl. And you, Shep. I'll sure miss you. <laughs> Goodbye, you two. Shep, I don't think I like this. Nope, I sure don't. It's not our decision, Tinny. snow coming down. Oh, Mosey, where are you? Mosey! Sarah, where are you? Sarah! We gotta find her, Aztec. She can freeze out here. Thanks, Molly. Not today. Come on! You need to get up and do something. It'll take your mind off, you know, help you stop thinking about, well, him. Maybe some other time, okay? I'd kind of like to be alone, if you don't mind. Okay, Sarah. I don't mind. What is it, Alma? 
I was thinking. It was fun having two cats around here. And one of them, well, isn't exactly the friendliest thing you ever met. Hmm. I bet we could get Bailey to ask his mom and dad to get another barn cat for Horseland. What? See? The paper's full of ads for free kittens and stray cats. I don't think so, Alma. Come on, it's perfect. A new one to replace Mosey. Mosey can't be replaced, Alma. Oh, you know what I mean. Something to help you forget him. I don't want to forget him. Sarah? Mm -hmm. How you holding up? Okay, I guess. Hmm. Okay's a start. But... Will, I really loved Mosey. I know. And I let him down! How do you figure? I told him he'd be fine! I gave him my word on it! Then you made a promise you couldn't keep. It wasn't your place to decide when it was Mosey's time. Mosey knew that. I want him back, Will! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sarah. It'll get better with time. It really did Sarah some good, finally getting all those tears out. The days kept going by like they always do, and spring finally came back to Horseland like it always does. And with it came the promise of new life. Sunshine. Oh, everybody look! It's spring again! Oh boy, I can't wait to get outside. I'm gonna run and jump and play, and then I'm gonna run and jump and play some more. Yeah, anybody know how to open these things? <laughs> hey, Sarah. Yeah, Will? Could you help me with something? What is it, Will? This. Oh, he's so cute! Yeah, just born today. But we can't get him to nurse. Oh, what a sweetheart! Don't suppose you'd be willing to feed him till he can look out for himself? Are you kidding? I'd love to! Thanks. No, thank you, Will. Did you see that? Sure did. You silly old thing. I know just what I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you Little Mosey. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah took on the care of that piglet, and they were both a lot happier because of it. Day. I'll be with you in a few. All right, Sarah. Woohoo! Everything's going to be okay, isn't it, little guy? Bamano! Yeah! All right! It's good to have you back, Sarah. It's a new day, and it's looking good. Yes, sir. Life goes on. All things do have an ending, but in that ending, there's a beginning. Got around here, Shep. They're getting the place ready. Got a famous visitor coming by today. Famous, you say? This I've got to see. And I'm sure our famous visitor would like to see me, too. I wouldn't go out there. It's sort of dangerous. Please, I'm a cat. I laugh at danger. <laughs> Kitty Pizza! 
told you so. Tina tried to warn you. When somebody has good advice to share, you ought to listen. Soon as we get the back stall next to Calypso cleaned up, we'll be ready for our guest. We'll want it to be nice and comfy so River can get better after his operation. Did she say River? The River? That River? River is coming here to Horseland? Who's River? Just about the most awesome horse that ever lived. Won the Longfellow Steeplechase four times. And the National and International Show Jumping Championships. That's pretty good. Pretty good? River's a living legend. He could run all day without getting tired. And when he jumped a fence, it was like an eagle soaring in the sky. And in the show jumping ring, there was no horse more graceful. River never knocked down a rail, not one in his whole career. He won every competition he ever entered. There was never a horse that could compare with River. It'll be an honor to have a horse like River spend a few days in our stable. I'm sure we can learn a lot from him. Oh, just look at this place. We have to look our best to greet a champion. <laughs> Finally finished. Chili! We just finished cleaning and you're already messing the place up. I think he's trying to tell us something. I think they want to look their best for River, too. <laughs> yeah, right. Like you can read their minds. Maybe Sarah's right. Wouldn't hurt to spruce him up a bit. <laughs> wasn't easy, but it sure was worth it. I don't think the horses or the stable ever looked better. Oh, Chili, what is it now? <laughs> I think he's trying to tell us that we need to clean up too. A little welcome speech all worked out, so don't say anything and let me do the talking. <sighs> huh? What? Oh dear. My goodness. Poor old fella. I hope he'll like it here. He'll need a lot of rest to get his strength back. Once my grandmother had an operation and it took months for her to get back to normal. We'll take good care of you, River. We'll be right back, River. Wow, those races must have been a long time ago. But that can't be River. The champion River? River? Yep, that's me. Hello, River. My name's Scarlet. Nice to meet you, dear. Hi. I'm Chili, and on behalf of the horses of Horseland, <clears throat> I want to say it's a great honor Mighty to- Mighty nice of you, but if you don't mind, I've had a long trip, and I could use a rest. Plenty of time to talk later. Um, right, later. Here you go, boy. Come on, River. Let's get you some water now. I guess he's changed from when he was young. Like Pepper said, it was a long time ago that River won those races. Yep, long time. Haven't competed in over 15 years. Retired, you know. Turned out to pasture. But I remember those days like yesterday. Tell us about the first time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. 
You had to be the fastest horse ever. I was fast, but racing, especially a steeplechase, isn't all about fast. Pacing's just as important as speed. Start off too fast and you don't have anything left for the finish. That's a hard lesson to learn when you're young and feeling your oats, but it's important. Mmm, there's that sorghum mixed in, tasty. Best sorghum I ever had was in Kentucky. I was training for a race there. Tell us about the race. They call it Kentucky bluegrass country, but I don't know why it isn't blue. <laughs> it's green, like any other grass. Good though, some of the best I ever grazed. Florida's got good grass too, but it's sandy. The ground, I mean, not the grass. Some big hero, all he cares about is grass. California's good, but you gotta water the grass a lot. <laughs> Say, did I tell you about the time? Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. <laughs> Pepper, you can do it! Oh. Too bad, Pepper. You'll do better next time. Hmm. I barely brushed the rail. Must have been a breeze. Must have blown the rail off. I think you need to settle yourself down and shorten your stride coming up to the fence. It's not so much the speed you carry into a jump that matters. It's hitting the mark for your takeoff. You youngsters are too impatient sometimes. It was only a practice. <sighs> Get used to knocking down rails in practice and you'll knock them down when you compete. All I'm saying is, the fastest ride is a clean ride. Come on, Chili. Let's show them how it's done. Okay, watch my stride and hit my takeoff points. Let's go, Chili. Good going, Chloe. Great job, Chloe and Chili! Bravo! You did it! Great ride, Chili! I'm so proud of you, Chili! What'd you think of that? Not bad for a youngster. <laughs> River? Uh-huh. Sorry. Must have dozed off. Horse nap, you know. How'd the ride go? Okay. Too bad you didn't see it. That horse is way too critical. I'll be glad when he leaves. Aw, uh, cut him some slack, Pepper. He just had an operation. And he tells those long, boring stories. But he's not boring. Don't tell me you like listening to that long-winded old know-it-all. Well, I... I mean, I... He thinks horses today can't do anything. Not like the horses when he was young. Shh, he's coming. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna stand around and listen to that boring blowhard. Mm. This sure is good. Not as good as Kentucky bluegrass. Which isn't really blue. <laughs> Guess I told you that one. Yeah. You did. Come on, let's graze by the fence. You coming, Chili? Suit yourself. Where are they off to? I don't know. You better tell them not to go too far. There's a storm coming. A storm? but there's not a cloud anywhere. When you get my age, you feel a storm in your bones, especially if it's gonna be a big one. 
Say, did I tell you about the time? No, but that's okay. I have to go. Chili? Hold on, boy. Where are you going? Sometimes I don't know what gets into these young'uns. Guess Chili ran off on account of me. Can't leave him out there alone. Not with this storm coming. Still got my touch. Don't want anybody else getting out. Now to find that young'un. All my life I've heard about River. Wanted to be like him. But he's nothing like I thought he'd be. Pepper's right. He's boring. Chili! Where are you, young'un? Box Canyon. Ought to be a good place to hide. River will never find me here. Why'd you go and run away? Told you there was a storm coming. There's no storm! You don't know everything! Never said I knew everything. I'm sorry if it seemed that way. Guess I need to work on understanding young horses. You're just so... Different from what I expected. A champion, you mean? Something like that. That was a long time ago, Chili. Horses change. Sounds like you young'uns could work on understanding old horses, too. Come on, let's get back before that storm hits. What storm? That storm. Oh, yeah, that storm. Follow me. It's blocked! We're trapped! We'll have to jump if we can. On this leg, I'd never make it. But you might. I never jumped anything that big. You have to. Only way to bring help. Just remember... I know. Shorten my stride. Pick my takeoff point. I guess you young'uns were listening. I can do it. Short strides, hit my takeoff point. Here goes! I'll be back with help! Reminds me of me when I was his age. The rain. I've got to hurry. Pacing's just as important as speed. Start off too fast, you don't have anything left for the finish. River's right. I gotta have strength to lead them back. Let's get the horses in the stable. Wait, where's Chili? He's not here. but it'll do. Just hope Chili remembers what I told him. Come on, we better hurry. Not too fast, Pepper. River says you have to pace yourself. If we don't, we'll be too tired to do anything when we get there. Yeah, I guess he's right. Hope those youngins get here soon, before I catch pneumonia. River. 
there, behind that tree. We'll have to drag it out of the way. I hope the horses aren't too tired to move it. Tie the other end to your saddles. Now let's all pull together. <laughs> okay, pull! There Come you on, go. you can oh, do what? it! We can do this! You're safe! Can't believe I got myself stuck like that. You wouldn't have gotten stuck if I hadn't run off. I was acting like a spoiled colt. I guess I gotta remember. My stories aren't so interesting to a herd of young horses. They're interesting if we take the time to listen. Chili's right. There's a lot we can learn from. Nothing like a nice, warm stable and a good bag of oats. Reminds me of a stable where the oats were so good. But you youngins don't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the time you won the Longfellow steeplechase. You don't want to hear about that, do you? Yeah, we do. If you don't mind telling us. Well... There we were, lined up at the start, with me next to Fleetmaster, big chestnut stallion. He was the favorite he'd won the year before. This was my first big test. Don't mind telling you I was nervous, but that went away as soon as the flag dropped and the race started. You never heard such a thunder of hooves. It was like we struck lightning from our horseshoes. Fleetmaster and I went down the street, I was young and strong, but I knew that wasn't enough to win. I had to race smart, had to pace myself. So I dropped back to save my strength, waited for the chance to make my move. At the last fence, I saw Fleetmaster was tired, and I gave it everything I had. Closed the distance, and we were side by side, neck and neck, and then... I passed him. I crossed the finish line, and I'd done it. Won my first big race. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. There's a lot we can learn from each other, if we care enough to listen. <laughs> <laughs>